Welcome back to Living 808. Everyone wants long lashes, and there are many options today. Lash extensions like I do, products to lengthen your lashes, or a good set of false eyelashes put on the right way, though. Our resident guru celebrity stylist Crystal Ponce Ponce is here with a tutorial to help make your eyes pop. Everyone wants this look. I mean, everyone knows, every woman knows mm -hmm. that lashes make all the difference. <laughs> they sure do. And so we have a question yes. here. Tess from Honolulu writes, Dear Ponzi, how do you apply false eyelashes on yourself? I always try. It's so hard and messy, so I just end up giving up. And I agree. <laughs> it can be really disturbing, the results. <laughs> right. It's very intimidating. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, oh, do I feel, is it right? Is it going to come off? You know, so we all have that fear. Don't worry, you guys. And it could be just really easy if you have the right tools. And picking the right lash for your eye mm. is really the difference. And it doesn't have to be expensive. So I have a little bit of, you know, things that I can show you. I really put up my lashes in the car. <laughs> do you really? You I do. I, I park somewhere. <laughs> I park safe. Real life. We are real life. And because the lighting is good, you have AC. And then, you know, if you have the right tools, you can put it in a cinch and you don't have to take 30 minutes and it, it all mess up your makeup. All right. So, so what are the tools that you recommend? Okay. So the things that I, you know, really want you to invest in is the right type of glue. Okay. And um, I love this one here. It's a duo, which is, you can find it at any drugstore. Mm -hmm. And it's just something that everyone uses. So duo. And if you have any sensitivities, this is actually something that that you can use. There's a black one and a white one. And I love Ardell lashes. This is from the drugstore. So don't mind that little, like, thing right there. <laughs> That's okay. Um, you know, because this one has a kit. So it has a glue, has a tool for you to apply it. And then if you don't want to buy the kit and you have the little bits already, a good tweezer mm -hmm. right here. Um, I have a bobby pin, and I'll show you why. Oh, okay. But we all have a bobby pin on the floor or the bathroom or in sure the car, do. but the bobby pin and a good scissor, like, okay. a little, like a little scissor. And you mentioned for the eye having different lashes sometimes. Yes. So these are my favorites. I talked about Ardell. Mm -hmm. um, this is here my favorite, kind of my beauty cult blogger. It's called the Iconic Lights from House of Lashes. You get your scissor, and you have to size your lash. So size and trim it. So I, for me, I actually like size them to my eye and make sure like, okay, kind of give you a little guide mm -hmm. to just be like, okay, that's going to kind of fit. So I am going to take, I like to trim off the little extra tips at the end, but mm -hmm. I, you cut from the ends. Okay. Okay. Once you have the right size. Right then size. Then your glue. So a lot of people... It's like, I'm going to be, if you're professional, I do this myself on my client. You go directly. You go directly, but sometimes you go, you do that, and then it's a whole mess. So what I like to do is actually on the little tray or your, like, lash, you know, container, I put a little bit on there. Mm -hmm. So what happens when you put your glue there, it starts to get tacky with the air. So I take, you can either do that, you can take a bobby pin, which is what I use. And at the end of the bobby pin, I use it as kind of my DIY applicator, and you apply it to the lash. I like to take the tweezer or the applicator, depending on what you're comfortable with. I hold it from the center of the lash, and then this is a trick. You tilt your head back, and you look down. Instead of looking down and try oh, to apply, yeah. you're stretching your lid here. You so the angle it. in the car the would angle be angle in the car is good. And I like to kind of gently place from the center. Mm-hmm. And then I pull it to adjust in the corner of your lash. You pull it, okay. I pull it. And I like to have, leave a little, like an eighth of an inch from the end of your line here. here. So I kind of pull it in so that brings this, like, uplift effect on your eye. And then I secure the other end. So one, two, three. Ta-da. As easy as one, two, three, literally, one, two, when you three. do it. And then optional, I mean, I already put my liner on because mm -hmm. it kind of hides the lash. But you can also put liquid liner right just to hide the glue. Right now, you can kind of see glue, let it dry a little bit. But you can just put a little coat over it mm -hmm. so that way it disguises that lash. So we're going to do the other side. There you go. Yeah, we'll finish up the other side here. <laughs> <laughs> so Looks one, two, three. Mm -hmm. There you go. One, two, three. Get your questions <laughs> in. Dear Ponzi at khon Looking fabulous both sides, but I like the extra pop. <laughs> I'm still awake. <laughs>